and tea. Welcome to Way of Yao. Thank you every single one of you who have decided to click onto this video and show me your support. I am going to start off by saying that if you're not already a part of the family, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, show some support by hitting that like button and do not forget to comment any thoughts, views you may have, what you want to see next, what you liked about this video and let's get that conversation popping. So for this video, I am going to be doing a prepping my skin foundation and highlight routine i would say contour however i don't really contour anymore i just find this a little bit too harsh on my face i already have quite defined bone structure especially in the lower part of the face so to then go and add something dark it just looks like sis you need to eat something you look a little bit hungry i look really malnourished when i contour so this is how i do my base basically and i hope you guys enjoy this video i wanted to do this video because i I know that I usually do quite out there extravagant looks that not everybody's going to be able to do and it's not actually something that everybody would want to do so I want to kind of give something that people can just wear on an everyday basis it's not too much so I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get it popping so I'm starting off this tutorial with my skin already cleansed so all we have to do is moisturize the skin and as you can see my eyebrows are already applied because it simply takes me too long to do it on camera so I thought do it off camera then come on camera so to start off with my under eyes I'm gonna be using the be nourished eye cream so I attended a super drug um, event the other day and they gave us like loads of different stuff like this which was really cool so I've been loving this for my under eye if you did not get enough sleep sis this is really good to just pop under that it helps to plump it but it gives it a little bit more alive okay so I'm just patting that into the under eye area with my marriage finger. Now this one gives a little bit of a purple tone under the eye, but the second you place your foundation on top, you will not see it at all. Also you feel a little tingly feeling, which I always love from a product. It actually shows me that it's doing something and it's actually working. Now for the skin, I'm gonna be using the Ultimate Hydrating Hypervitamin Cream. This is from Beauty Bio. I also went to their event. Their products are amazing. I've just been using their products religiously. This is probably what I use every day and night. You're probably thinking that's enough moisture, but I need more. So I'm going to be using the Be Hydrated Hyaluronic Acid Facial Spritz. This one is literally almost finished. I'm going to go get me some more, but literally this one is really good. Perfect. Now it's almost time to get into foundation, but before that I need to prime the skin. So I'm going to be using my first base primer setting spray from NYX Professional Makeup. And I literally just spray this all over my face. And once again, this is another product that is really, really, really good for hydrating the skin as well. So I love using it. So I'm going to allow this to sit and dry for a little bit because it's not best to put foundation right on top of a primer that you've just applied. So I'm going to give it a couple of minutes and then I'm going to come back and start applying the foundation. Now it's time to get into foundation. So for that I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Deep Espresso 10C 10R. This one has quite a red undertone to it which which I quite like. It adds a lot of warmth to the skin but I'd say that if you're somebody who has a lot of problematic areas on your face um, you probably don't want to use this because then you'd have to use so much of it to actually cover all of your blemishes and stuff and then when you use a lot of it you end up looking really bad it's only because i don't really have that many issues um i can get away with only using a little bit of this and it's still giving that warmth without it being overpowering so i use about half a pump of this i pour it on the back of my hand first and then i um use my sponge to dip into that and then to blend it onto my face. Now for concealer, I'm gonna use the Beautiful Bronze Concealer from LA Girl. I'm gonna also be placing that on the back of my hand first and then spreading it along the high points of my face, that being the chin, the under eye, the center of the nose and the forehead. I remember when I used to use Fawn Concealer as my highlight, I was absolutely crazy. I don't know what sort of look I was going for. I don't know who I was trying to be, whether I thought I was light skin, I'm not even sure, but you don't want to take it too far out of, you know, your skin tone. You don't want to go for like 10 shades lighter. It's going to look, actually, it's going to look great. I look back to my old um, highlight and contour routine. I looked, it was not cute. The way that I highlight my nose is really 
particular for me. So what I do is I draw a straight line like this and I connect it to my forehead highlight like this and I'll kind of separate the brows during this process as well. People ask me why my brows are so close together but if you actually watch by the end of the tutorial it's not close together anymore because I actually separated during my makeup routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with the same sponge. So now that most of my highlighted areas are blended out I'm gonna move on to the nose. I like to use a very thin fluffy brush to blend out the nose because the nose is an area where it needs to be a lot more precise as a small part of your face and if it's done incorrectly it can look you can make your nose look opposite to what you want it's gonna look even more bulbous if you do it incorrectly so I like to use something that's quite small to help blend out that nose area and also to help um, soften out where the brows actually start so that they don't look as blocky and as harsh looking now I'm gonna set my highlighted areas with a mixture of my Ben Nye Sienna powder and my Laura Mercier medium deep translucent powder. I literally just put it in the lid like that and then I dip my sponge in there and start setting all of those highlight areas. And so I take this part of the sponge, the very thin part, and I'm gonna dip it in that powder and then I set the center of my nose. And then to clean it up, I take a finger and I brush the sides. Then to set the perimeters of my face, so that being around my forehead, you know, the jawline area, I'm gonna use my ebony powder from Ben Nye and just a fluffy brush like this. And in fact, I'm gonna brush it over the highlighted areas as well. Just to help it look a lot more blended together. So now it's time to set the face. I'm gonna use my matte finishing setting spray from NYX Professional Makeup. Before um, finishing my face, I would use to contour and then reverse contour, which would look really, really harsh. And considering I already have quite sharp features and quite defined cheekbone structure, it wouldn't actually look cute on me. I used to look like I needed to eat something and that is not the kind of look I'm trying to go for, sis. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I like to drown in this. Perfect, now it's time to add some glow and I like to do that after I've set my face because it just helps it to sit nicer on the skin. And I'm gonna use my OPV Illuminator. This is in the shade Liquid Gold. Now for highlight, I usually just use whatever I find first. So today I'm gonna to be using the Technique Get Gorgeous in the shade 24K. This is how it looks, gorgeous color. Cool, now that the face is done, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Butter Lip Gloss from NYX Professional Makeup. I'm just gonna drown my lips in these. Absolutely love this lip gloss, it's my absolute favorite. Cool, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair off camera and I'll be back in a moment to show you the official, official, official look, okay? So I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for showing me all the support you've shown me so far. It means the world to me. And don't forget that if you actually enjoyed watching this video, you can show me some support by hitting that like button. Don't forget to comment anything you want to see in future or any thoughts or views you may have. And if you're not already a part of the family, sis, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.